Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box Melodist Overview. Using the Melodist feature, you can compose a new song in a style of your choice, complete with an intro, chords, a melody, and even the arrangement. All you have to do is choose from one of the many Melodists available and press the OK button. The Melodist can also generate a melody over your existing chord progressions. To open the Melodist dialog, press the Melodist button in the toolbar, or just press the Shift F5 hotkey. First, I'll give you a little tour of the dialog and then I'll let you see it in action. On the left here, we have a list of the Melodists available, including genres like pop, swing, bossa, waltz, rock, bebop, and jazz ballad. Above the list here, we can choose to show all the Melodists or narrow down the list by genre. We can even choose to show the not available Melodists Over here on the right, we have a number of options that will determine exactly what the Melodist is going to generate. So as you can see, we can generate chords, an intro, a melody, and even add a solo to the middle of your chorus, which will generate an improvisation in the middle of choruses in the song. We also have this Insert Bass Pedals checkbox. When selected, this will insert a pedal bass figure during the intro and at the end of sections. Checking the Allow Style Change box will allow the Melodist to load in associated styles. If you don't want the Melodist to change the current style you have loaded, just uncheck this box. We can even use this checkbox here to have Band in a Box generate an automatic title for our song. The Reharmonist button will open the Reharmonist dialog. This can be used in the same fashion as the Melodist, but it will generate new chord progressions specifically for your melody. Below, we have a few shortcut buttons. The Chords and Melody button will set the checkboxes to generate chords and melody, but not solos. The All button will generate chords, melodies, and solos. The Chords button sets the option to generate only chords. The Melody button will set the option to generate only a melody over your existing chord progression. Over here, we have some kill buttons to kill some of the generated parts, but we will discuss this a little later. Down here we have the form section. This allows you to choose between a song generated with a specific form of AABA or a free form. The AABA defaults to a 32 bar form, which is the most popular song form. An AABA 32 form has four sections of typically eight bars each. The A section is the verse and the B section is the chorus or bridge. You can see this here represented by our part markers. A is the verse and B is the chorus. This box here determines how many choruses of the song form are to be generated. For example, if set to five, the melodist will generate five choruses. Enough for an intro chorus, ending chorus, and three middle choruses. This defaults to the number of choruses present in the current song. The tempo setting determines the tempo of the song and defaults to the current tempo of the previous song. If the auto tempo is checked, the tempo will be set at the tempo range sorted within the Melodist. For example, if the Melodist is called Fast Waltz, it would have a fast tempo range stored inside the Melodist, and the song would be generated at a fast tempo if the auto tempo option is set. We also have another option called A2 Transpose. In songs with an AABA form, it is common for the second A section to be transposed. For example, the first A section might be in the key of E flat, and the second would be transposed up to the key of G flat. This will happen if it is set to section. If it is set to section plus, it will transpose the A2 section, and might also transpose two bars early or two bars late. If you don't want to allow the melodist to transpose the form at all, just set the A2 transpose to none. Over here, we can set the key for the song. If set to any key, the program will randomly pick a key for the song, weighed more heavily towards popular keys such as C or F. The minor key percentage option determines what percentage of songs are generated in minor keys versus major keys. If set to 20, then 20% 20 of the songs would be generated in minor keys. 
This part of song, whole song option determines whether you want to generate the whole song or just part of it. If you select part of song, you can specify which bar and chorus to start at and how many bars to generate. Another way to set the range of bars is to highlight the bars in the chord sheet before opening the Melodis dialog. Then the generate form will be automatically set to part of song and the range of bars will be set to the selected area. If you have set the Melodis to only generate part of song, you might choose to generate only bars 4 and 5 of the song form in section A. This replace through form option will instruct the Melodis to copy and generate bars 5 and 6 to the other A sections throughout the song. Now before we go over the rest of the dialogue, let's press OK to generate and play our new song. It sounds pretty great, doesn't it? As you can see here, we have our intro section, but let's say I don't like the intro section and just wanted to get rid of it. I would open up the Melodis dialog again and press kill intro. This will just as it says, kill the intro. You can see it disappears as I press the button. I could also kill the pedal bass, melody or soloist if I didn't like those either. Now that I have killed my intro, I want to press cancel. This will not cancel my changes to the intro, but pressing OK would regenerate any options I still have checked up here. So I'll press cancel and play the song again. And now you can see there is no intro. Let's go back to the Melodis dialog. Pressing the search button and typing in part of a Melodis name, memo, style name, or other text associated with the Melodist will cause the Melodist section to change to the next item containing that text. Similarly, you can type in the number of the Melodist and press the go to number button. The memo area displays a memo for the current Melodist as well as the name of the database used for that Melodist. Melodists can also store patch and harmony settings, and these are displayed in the instrument area of the Melodist section screen. By default, the Melodist uses real styles instead of MIDI styles, but if you prefer MIDI styles, disable the Use Real Styles checkbox. You can also set the instrument to change each chorus. You can override the settings of the current Melodist and choose your own patch, harmony, and change instrument settings using these controls. Over here we have the Melodist Jukebox section. Press Juke Songs Now to launch the Melodist Jukebox. It will continuously generate new songs and play them in Jukebox fashion. Using the From and To settings here, you can set the range of Melodists to include in the Jukebox, or keep the Jukebox on the same Melodist by deselecting the Change Melodists. Below that we have the Right to Track option. Usually, the Melodist is written to the Melody track, if you prefer the melody to be written to the soloist track, then change this setting to soloist. The fave button allows you to pick a melodist that you have used recently. If you'd like to create your own melodist or permanently change the settings of an existing melodist, press the edit button to launch the melodist maker. So now that we've gone over the melodist dialog, let's generate a new melody over the chord progression we already have. I'll uncheck generate chords but leave Generate Melody, because we already have chords. And then just press OK to close the Melodist dialog and generate our new melody. Thanks for watching our Band in a Box Melodist video overview. Visit our website at www.pgmusic.com to check out our MIDI Melodist set add-ons for Band in a Box. Have fun!